I need to pray for you. It shall be a serious case. You are, you are having problem with your wife. Multi problem, daddy. Huh? I was praying when you come here that you must talk to me. You are tired because of this problem with your wife. I'm more than tired. I also, I think, on Friday I was saved with the restriction that I must, I must no longer be with her. Who's giving you restrictions? It was the police. Huh? The police. The police. Yes. Against your wife. Yes, she, she's they, here. Did they give you a protection order? It's a protection order that I must phone. I must not call come. your wife. Get out. So you are not supposed to be close to your wife. I must. I must go. It's not the first time. Last year, December, they also called the police. The police told Last him. Last year, they did the same. The, the police told him that respect to our, our, our men. Instead of the, for them to take me, they say, in this case we don't go. You must respect your men. Can you say what he's saying? Yes, she said, he said last year they came, he, she wanted uh, her, him to be arrested. But when they came, they said, no, we cannot take him in, respect your husband, and put your things in order. We cannot arrest him. Let's call your wife because it's a very sensitive issue. Ditawa. She is that side. Yeah. It's your wife, this one. I married her, Didi. Huh? I married her. You married her? Yes. Okay, why are you doing this to him? It's like every time he's always beating me. Huh? He's always beating me and he's, he's just going out with their friends to drink and he comes at 4 a.m. in the morning. Is it true? I don't know. The last time when I go out, I think it was last year, I think September day. Last year. Every you time. I don't know. You don't know that you went out. What she says is, is she lying? Yeah, currently, she's lying, Daddy. Multi lying. You said you are lying. Which is the truth? No, I'm huh? not lying. So you did protection order? Yes, because on Friday we had, on Monday he was beating me in front of the children, and then I went to the police and do protection order because it's not for the first time. <laughs> this one say is. You want to be close to your wife? I love her. I want to be close 100%. But the way in it is... You respect. love him? I love him. And why you go to police station? Because I wanted him to stop beating me because he always beat me. So what is she saying? I can't hear this. She said because he is always beating her. So she wanted him to stop beating her. Brother, when was the last time you beat her? We fight on Friday. On Friday you beat her? Yes, on Friday she said, he, uh, he just told me that he's going with friend on a waiting in Limpopo. I asked her, why? Because you said you must be close uh, together when you go to wedding. He said he arranged with his friends. Always they arrange, they go to fountain. Sometimes he leaves me with the children because he have a car, I don't have a car. Sometimes he takes the children to his, his uh, sister. I will stay in the house. That's the problem. People, both of you, you have lies. I, I mean, both of you, you are full of lies. Yeah, since I'm standing here, I'm trying to find what is the truth between you. Both of you here. Another one want to control this one. Another one to control this one. Here, yeah, this full of lies here. And this thing started by infidelity. By becoming unfaithful. Now, you lose trust to each other. It's not true. It's true. Huh? It's true. But also you, you've got a serious problem. You always suspect this man. Yes. On what he does not do. It's not true. It's true. Huh? It's true. You, you, are, you, you are killing your husband. Because you always... There are many people. Look here, there are police who are closer than you now. Listening to your stories. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. They are listening to your stories. They are taking everything you say about your own husband. And they are doing these things so that they can get to you and get everything of him. Very soon, even yourself, even yourself, you're not faithful. He's not faithful, you're not faithful. So, that's why you come to church today and speak these things. You need to forgive each other. Do you want to do that? I don't want to expose you. Are you hearing me? Yes. Huh? Yes. You need to forgive each other. You are not faithful. And you are not faithful, you. 
And now there's this problem now. That you see, you people, you are just fighting. Fighting. You people want to divorce. I was going to divorce tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow I, I told myself that I'm going That's to divorce. That's what I'm saying, that you want to divorce. This is the time now that you people must tell to, even this lady, even if you divorce her, she doesn't care. This lady does not love you anymore. She's telling you she loves you so much. She doesn't love you, this lady. She says she's tired with you. She wants to get someone. I also tired. Even yourself, you are tired. Yes. So, God loves you. Eh? God loves you. This is an attack. Are you hearing me? It's an attack. Are you hearing me? Yes. Eh? Yes. Mm. You marry a wife by appearance. A wife that in a family there is no marriage. Yes, it's, it's not true. true. It's true, very huh? true. Very in your true. family, you people, you don't marry. Yourself, you, you, you are independent. You yes. want to be independent. It's not true. It's true. Uh, now, when you have a husband now, you feel like it's up to here. You want to leave him. Most of the time, even when he's there, you feel like you're not breathing well. Yes. It's not true. It's true. Sometimes true. you, when you speak with you, you just answer him whatever. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's true. Mm. So it's the spirit of your family. He, he tried to be a husband. Unfortunately, you're not delivered. So you need this man. You don't need this police. Yes. Are you hearing me? I'm hearing you. You don't need this police. They are, they are very close now. Very soon you'll be a girlfriend now. So do you want to ask forgiveness? Yes. Huh? Yes. Do you want to ask forgiveness? Yes. Huh? Yes. Because you are very quick in fighting. There's a short tempo on you. Too much. Huh? Too much. Mm. You can ask, start my sister. You stop the service. Everybody's looking at you. You're a celebrity. <laughs> my love, I'm asking you to forgive me for everything I did. Because I love you. Tell him what you did. Because uh, tell him, he will believe. Yes, uh, I'm so sorry by going to the police and doing protection order. So I believe God has intervened in our marriage. And I believe. Also tell him that you are no longer loving him. Yes. Tell him. I, I was no longer loving you. And tell him what you are feeling now after I spoke here. Tell him about love. I love you. You are looking at I, me. You don't love me. My wife is standing <laughs> here, man. You. You. Look at him. I love you and I just want you to forgive me. Okay, brother, lift your wife. <laughs> what are you saying to your wife? Hold your wife, look at your wife, it's your wife. Just... Hold your, your wife. No, don't do that talk. <laughs> uh, you are wasting my time, I want to pray for people. I pray for these people and pray for many marriages here. Yeah. Talk, brother. Because every time go lela luji dinch kifeja kielo, so kileba o nswari jile na kero nswari lo lukamonga. I want you to forgive me because I'm short. I'm short tempered, and always when you speak things, I just become angry and do wrong things, so forgive me. Thank you if you have forgiven me. Well, my sister, today, you, eh, you crush this protection order. Yes. You need this man. Yes. Otherwise, people will enter the house and kill you. Yes. There was a time people wanted to come and steal there, in your house there. By the grace of God, you still have the grace yes. that God to protect you. Yes. You understand? Yes, so, I had that by my, my next door. The next that, door said people came. Yes, there. he said they wanted people to come came. And steal. Yes, but we hadn't had I anything. I want to tell you that this thing can happen anytime. You need your husband. You need to stand with your husband. You are the one who can go to police station with your husband and say it's over with protection order. I'm standing with my husband for the sake of these children. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. And you stand. You respect your your husband. Look here. Even if you fast a hundred years, you will never be a husband. Amen. My my sis, my brother. Today, take your wife as a wife. You, may, you love your wife. A wife, when she makes mistakes, 
if she make you angry, carry her. She's not, look here, she's 50 kg. <laughs> carry her. Take her to the bed. Carry her. You can't beat your wife. Ask Zulu, she will tell you. You must ask Zulu. You don't use your wife, your, you don't use your hands to beat your wife. So today, stand with your wife, hug each other, kiss each other. <laughs> Do it. Here. Yeah. Ah, look. Look at the beautiful marriage. Where are the children? Where are the children? Go and take your children. You come and sit this side. Satan will show Look at yourself. Look, look, look. The deliverance, deliverance now. You see, it's, it's a spirit of the family. It's a spirit of the family. Live there, live there. What are you doing here? Huh? Can you hear the demon now? Is it, what is it they want here? You don't want them to be here. <laughs> we were saying we're finished. <laughs> you were saying it's over. Yes, yes, yes. Why? Can you hear that? Why should Brother, I marry? listen. Don't fight your wife because of witchcraft. Are you hearing me? Yes, they huh? did. Yes, they now did. you know it's not her now. You say what? Listen. Lirei. Yes. Huh? Yes. The last time you prayed for her, she is just the only one. The only one left in that company. But she's still here. Why? 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 All people who are here who are married, having problems, run to the forward there. All who are fighting. Look, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Also, it's the same thing. Huh? Why are you doing that? Look at this one. Everywhere. Everywhere. If there's a disagreement, there's a demon. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Take them forward. You, you if you have put a disagreement, disagreement, take your husband by the hand. Take your wife by the hand. You've been poor, you are young, but you are failing to use opportunity when you are young. Le palo shumi shama ne tale saliba banyan. Look at the beautiful As children. Easy. So they are equal. You have got twins. Yes. My God. Wow. They have twins. As As rise up, rise up. You need to stand together. Look. Analysis. Twins. Are they all boys? Yes. Eh? yes. My God. If you are married and there is argument, there is a demon. And that demon must leave you. Amen. People who are a husband and a wife must reach agreement. You are not equal. Another one will love, another, another one will submit. Everybody will play his own part. The wife will speak and listen to the husband. The husband will do the same. In the manner that way God has said it. As you are standing there, stand close to your partner. Hold your partner with a hand. So I'm sure people are watching there. People are watching. You can hear demons complaining. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover marriages with the blood of Jesus. I cover marriage with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Watch what is happening there. Watch what is, what is happening there. Show us what is happening there. Any disagreement from Satan, from pit of hell, I expose it right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Any disagreement fights because of witchcraft. The Bible says those who are joined by God, no man must put them asunder. Amen. Today, I say the blood of Jesus. Amen. The blood of Jesus. Amen. The blood of Jesus. Amen. Even those who want to marry, who are about to marry, disagreement is cancelled right now. Amen. Fighting is cancelled. Amen. No more fighting. No more. No more fighting. Amen. No more fighting. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There's a, there's a brother also there who went to divorce his wife the same way. Uh, I can show you the brother he wanted to divorce his wife. He said she doesn't have respect and the family now is standing with, her, with him. And uh, brother... Can you tell us what the man of God has said to you and also confirm it? Um, what the man of God said to us is that uh, he prophesied my husband and asked him where is uh, his wife and then I came and then he said what's the problem and I told uh, uh, the man of God that uh, uh, we've been fighting and then I make a protection order for my husband and then uh, daddy said uh, we must crush the the protection order uh, because this marriage is from God. And what was the reason of you guys fighting? We just fight over small things. I can't even explain what is happening because sometimes uh, uh, my hu my husband when he speak, I'll get I'll get angry at him, and then I just don't respond at him. And what's what what is the reason that the man of God said you must forgive each other? Uh, because we were both we, we are both not faithful. So we're like speaking lies, yes. And what made you to start to be unfaithful to your husband? It's when uh, some things happen and then I, tr I, I started to lack trust on my husband. So I suspected my husband that he was like doing some things that I don't know. The love started to, I can say, decline, to go down like, yeah, because uh, when he speaks, sometimes I wouldn't listen because I'll say he's doing some things. Yeah. And when you look at him, how would you feel? I feel like irritated, like when he speaks something, maybe. And today, were you expecting that God was going to locate this problem and restore your marriage? Yeah, because I would feel in my heart today when I left home, I just say, you know, today I just uh, prayed that God must locate us. And then he, indeed it happened. He located us. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful unto the Lord. Amen. Yeah, and how are you feeling now? I'm feeling so joyful. I've got joy in my heart. Yes. What the man of God have said today, it was 100% everything. You can even say 101%. Everything that he was telling us, it was true. 100% true. He's, he's saying, how is our marriage? Uh, we are, are we fighting? And everything to us true. We are fighting. Uh, uh, are you going to divorce this woman? Yes, I was explaining tomorrow because how can we stay in a protection of the marriage? I thought tomorrow morning I was going to do a, a divorce so that everyone can move with his life on. But what the way men of God have declared everything to us, I, I have learned that it was a demon. My wife was under a huge demon because after he talked with the men of God, he was confessing everything. Yes, that's, a, that's why I have said, men of God told me that, you, do you see your wife is not doing, he, he, was, he is not doing the thing that they, on his own. It is a attack. And I have learned that it was a attack because the, it, the demon confessed itself. Yes. And, and why do you, did you say it was a protection order marriage? No, on Friday, last week Friday. This thing, it was a matter of, I think three days. It was Friday, Saturday, today, Sunday, two days. The protection order the, started on Friday. I received it on Friday after I came from work. Yes. Uh, and we just agreed maybe towards month end, everyone must find his own 
place and I thought I would move out from the house. But uh, God loves us. He just uh, rebuilt our marriage. And here, I pray men of all before he approaches us that let today be my day. Because uh, going for a divorce without talking to a man of all is something huge. Yes, so uh, it's a blessing to our marriage for the restoration Jesus. of our marriage. And the man of God also said that you must forgive each other. And your wife said that she was suspecting you. Can you also tell us about that? My wife was suspecting me too much. Too much. But I cannot, I cannot deny that because when you look at my biography where I come from, I was a person who used to train with friends. But that, that thing ended up, I think, last year, September. But because my wife, she knew my, 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 my history, I used to go out when I'm out, maybe we are drinking everything. I will not say when he suspect me, he was wrong. But the thing, he didn't know that I've changed. And since that time, I've changed. I'm no longer going out, as he can know. I'm no longer going out. I'm always at, 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 at home. When it's, time, when it's time to come to church, I come to church. So, but he didn't know that I'm 100% changed. So that's why he was still suspecting me. Yes, but today men of God told him that you are suspecting this man too much. So I, as long as he heard from the man of God, I don't think there is anyone who can uh, be against the weight of the man of God. Yes. As the man of God said that everything that she was doing uh, to you, it was because there was a spirit behind. And also she said that she was not respecting you. When she looks at you, she would feel irritated. Were you aware of those things? My wife, if, he, if, if I can tell him, for example, go and take that a cup of coffee and, may, and give me. As an example, he will give me a, more than five things. He will tell me a lot of stuff. He cannot uh, go on everything that I told him. When I told him, Let, don't go there, it's the more that I say he, she must go there. But it was not there. He was a spirit. Yes, it was a spirit. We were, I was fighting a spirit. I was not fighting the woman that I know because I think now we are close to 15 years uh, together. So he was not like this before. So it was a spirit. I was fighting a ghost. That's what I, I can say now. And how did it affect you? Hey, it was affecting me dramatically. There was no love. There was not everything. I was finishing with my, with my heart that tomorrow I'm not going to work. I am going to make a divorce. But I thank God for what he has done to me today. I thank God dramatically. The way he, he, he restored my marriage, I, I, I would like to say glory to, unto the God. Yes. And how are you feeling now that you have forgiven your wife, the man of God has prayed for you for restoration in this marriage, and also said that this marriage is from God. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling, I'm very much high. My mood is high. Man of God just did let that tomorrow we must go to, uh, to court to cancel that uh, 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 protection order. And I'm very much happy for what the men of God have told us. I'm very much happy because it is just a, a few days, Friday and Sunday, my marriage is went back to where I know it's supposed to be. So I say grace unto be the Lord. Yes. Thank you.